Hi, everybody. It's Dr. Dan. Um, we're working on this evaluating your uh, flow simulation results from SOLIDWORKS. And I had one more topic I wanted to show you. It's sort of advanced, um, and you may or may not need, but I did want to show you just in case you need it sometime in the future. And that would be like, what if you have a surface in here, um, that a surface where you want to evaluate parameters, but you can't uh, because you don't have that surface in your sim. And so we were able to like evaluate mass flow at all these inlet and exits because we had these surfaces in here from our lids. But there might be another place we want to evaluate that and we just can't because we don't have the surface. So I'll show you how we can do that. So first thing I'm going to do is go back to our normal drawing. But I'm also going to unload FlowSim because frankly, I'll start getting a bunch of error messages that I just don't want to see while I'm doing this. Um, because it's going to be very upset with me. So I'm going to take off the SOLIDWORKS flow sim. It will unload. And that way when we're drawing it, it will leave us alone. Okay, so previously we had defined some of these planes just kind of in the middle here. So I'm going to just, I'll just select one of them. I'll show it. Now maybe I want to see what the mass flow rate is, for instance, across that plane. Again, because of conservation of mass, we know what it's going to be. It's going to be 0.001. But just so I can show you how you can do this. So we want to put a surface in the flow, but we don't want to interrupt the flow. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First, we're just going to start by making an object as normal. So I'm going to make a sketch in that plane. Okay, the one way we can make this sketch that we want to is we want to grab that inside edge and we can hit convert entities and that will draw the circle in there. That's the interior dimensions of the pipe. And so I'll hit exit sketch. So we have our sketch. Now we just go to features like normal, extrude it. Uh, we don't need to extrude it that big. I'll just say one millimeter. Just like when we made lids, we don't want to merge the result. We want this to be a separate piece altogether. So I can hit check on that. And so now I have this thing. And currently it's, it is blocking the flow. Okay, so I'm going to actually hide this plane again so it's not in my way. I'm also going to change transparency on that guy so we can see it but uh, it's not as dark as the others okay now we can go ahead and try to run our flow sim again so in order to do that I need to add things back in here I need to add in my flow sim okay now it's getting mad at me it's saying it detects the models modified modified do you want to reset mesh yes you're going to need to do that so I go to flow sim now, what I need to do is, again, I don't want this interrupting the flow. So if I go to input data and right click, there's this component control. And we can, so these are all the parts that are gonna be used. Okay, and we don't want to use this boss extrude one. Okay, that's that. We don't wanna use that. We wanna use the lid, we wanna use the thickens, but not that one. So we unselect it and hit okay. Now when we run the flow sim, it should just ignore that. So let's go ahead and hit run. Okay, we're going to want to remesh, new calculation. We'll hit run on this. And it's going to run just like before. Now, sometimes when you do this, you might have problems. It might be worth it just to like delete your uh, boundary conditions and redo do those if necessary. But for the most part, you can see I was able to run this sim. Okay, so the sim ran uh, completely fine just as before. The results are loaded. Uh, and now we have uh, everything. This thing is still in there so we can actually just prove that it's not blocking anything i'm going to do flow trajectories just real quick uh, starting points are on the inside here sure we just want to make sure okay and so the flow looks like it worked just fine uh, it's drawn the colors by pressure so now i can use this object um, to look at some surface parameters. So I can choose insert surface parameter. That's, the, that's actually the face I want selected right there. Um, let's say I want to look at mass flow rate or pressure and velocity. Why not? I'll show. Again, we can see the mass flow rate, of course, has to equal the inlet mass flow rate because all the flow has to go through there. Um, we can see the velocity on there. We can see the min and max pressures on there. So that's a useful way that you can look at other parts of your pipe or blood vessel or whatever you're trying to simulate to get values out by adding these components in that actually aren't part of the sim 
uh, by using this component control on the input data. And I think that's all the uh, things I need to teach you. There's obviously a lot more uh, that you can do with SOLIDWORKS. Uh, hopefully this gives you a good footing and a good start so you can start analyzing some uh, data for flow simulation.